not just the fires and the severe weather, but this disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico, because yes, we are in the middle of hurricane season, that we're going to get to. More than 170 severe storm reports, though. So many folks stuck on runways and obviously, like Robin, stuck in that storm. Excessive heat warnings and watches pop up on the map. Know this, as your flights are canceled for heat, you're thinking, why is that? Well, the air is thin, and so you'd need a lot more speed to get the plane up or a longer runway, which they obviously don't have. But Phoenix to Las Vegas, San Francisco, even on the map here, you could see numbers approach all-time records in Las Vegas. And even Phoenix, if they hit 117, I was there in 2013 when it did it, it's not pretty. All right, we'll head over to you, Robin. Much more coming up on the tropical storms, or the potential for them, in just moments. That is Rollins to Atlanta. Guys, this is going to be a big rain event. You could see up to a foot of rain. That's the impact. Your local weather 30 seconds away. First, though, the Tuesday trivia as I switch to my left hand. Brought to you by Walgreens. <laughs> Back here on Good Morning America. I wanted to give a little more detail on that. We call the dirty side, obviously. You can have wraparound rain, which is why you have that bullseye northwest of Houston. But we put the track on. Even if it becomes a tropical storm, the rain up to a foot of it going to be the main story. Even in parts of North Georgia, we've got flood watches. Then we're watching this other one out in the parts of the Caribbean. And it's going to weaken thanks to some wind shear. All right, that brought to you by Subaru. Your local news and weather next. All of these dangerous conditions, Ginger. You know, Amy, and I think a lot of people forget it's the cumulative heat. This is not the first day that you've been 100, 110, close to 120. So it's overnight lows in the upper 70s or upper 80s even. And all of these excessive heat warnings and heat advisories that stretch into Utah are there for a reason. Pay close attention as you near an all-time record. It would be 117. The last time we did that was in 2013 uh, in Las Vegas. And Phoenix just short of an all-time at 119. Okay, then we have to focus quickly on that disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico because there are tropical storm alerts that go from East Texas over to the waters just outside of the Gulf there, uh, the Panhandle of Florida. Flood watches up to Atlanta, so Augusta back to parts of Biloxi, even into Mobile. These are areas that you'll have to watch some of the heaviest rain falling. Some pockets could reach a foot plus, Amy. All right, Ginger, thanks so much. Back here on Good Morning America, it's time for your GMA moment. It was so hot and sticky here yesterday, I thought this is what I need to do. <laughs> One way to beat the heat. Let's go ahead and get a check the local. Back now with a new documentary, Rebooting Body Image. It's called Straight Curve, and it's taking on the way the fashion industry represents real women from the runway to the retail rack. At 8 Eastern, right now, though, let's go outside to Ginger. Oh, Lara, can you believe that summer officially starts tonight? Well, we're going to celebrate with our sponsor, Cliff Kid. Right now, their new Cliff Kid Z Bar filled snack is debuting just in time for summer. And their theme for the season, encouraging kids to go outside and stay active. So that's exactly what we're doing this morning with a twist on your favorite classic outdoor games. First up, we got Noodle Tag. That's what they're playing here. Dustin is it in the front there. And then once one of them gets tagged with the noodle, they've got to grab on the thing. <laughs> anyway, whoever it is that, they're, 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 one of those will win. And over here, that's right, we've got Hopscotch Hustle. It's not just hopscotch, but it's with a little bit of a change on the board game. So you throw the little deal, and then whatever dance it lasts on, I think that's the twist. I'll do it with you. Yeah! We got Staying Alive, we have the Egyptian Vogue, so much more. Well, you get the point. Uh, and when you get to that square, you got to do it all. This is good stuff, and we're so happy that Cliff got us outside playing. All right, let's go ahead and get a check a little closer to home, shall we? and see them all. I'm ready to do some more dancing. All right, we'll head up to Michael and Lara. It's gonna be the wind as we get rid of some of the heat and suppress some of it. You still see red flag warnings, but a place like Phoenix, Arizona has been 110 degrees plus today for 10 days in a row. So the heat is real. And then you go ahead and put on the critical fire danger, not just in the Rockies, parts of Idaho, Eastern Oregon, but down through Las Vegas and into Arizona because that ridge is going to break down the heat. Yes, still very hot today, 118 needles, 115 Yuma. But as that cold front slips through, that's where the wind comes from. It also is where the cooler air comes from. Burbank 111 on Sunday, 79 by Thursday. Robin, see those two. box two of the bunker rake. Um, yeah, real quick, the Kleins Corner, New Mexico. That would be trees being shredded by hail and a quick look at the severe weather for today. Let's get to the select cities now, brought to you by CarMax. Acronyms are fun. LOL. Back here on Good Morning America, the first hurricane of the season happening in the Pacific. You can see, though, also that it's moving away from land. Still, rip currents will be ripping at the beaches, and so will the waves and some of the rain. All right, all that brought to you by CarMax. Your local news and weather next. Am hi, George. So much to get to. A huge night at the BET Awards. Leslie Jones killed it. Also, that show-stopping reunion of New Edition. A lot more there. And we have a great live audience. So don't go 